What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I want to share with you a really cool technique. This is how you can get that smeared photocopy slash scanner effect in Photoshop using filters, pixel distort, and some paper texture. It's really quite fun to do. It gets all graphical, and I think this is something that you can apply to your graphic design. <laughs> What? As soon as you have Photoshop fired up, you're gonna wanna get yourself a cool image. I picked up this image of this girl who looks like she has a splitting headache, which makes sense for this kind of technique. This was a stock photo from Envato.com, as well as this paper texture. Now you really need to know about Envato.com. It's a stock photography website with licensed photography, assets, typography, all sorts of fun things with unlimited downloads for only around 60 bucks a month and maybe around 200 bucks for the year. I highly recommend you use it and if you do please use our affiliate link below as we get a little something something for sending them business. Now as soon as you have your image go ahead and mask it out. I already took the time to do that. First things first go ahead and hit command J and make yourself a copy of your mask and then drop your mask down below in case you have to resort back to it later on. What we have to do now is split our image up. And to do that, we're going to convert this image into a rasterized by right clicking and going to rasterize layer. Then we're gonna click on that mask and right click and hit apply layer mask. Now go ahead and hit M on your keyboard to bring up your marquee tool. We're gonna to use that by selecting down. And once you have your selection made, go ahead and hit your mask button and that's gonna mask out half of the image. Now clicking on the image, we're gonna hit command J and then we're gonna go on that mask and hit Command I to invert it. Now we can drag this image to the left and we can drag that other image to the right. But this image actually has a little bit of the arm still there, so we're just going to hit the arm M on the keyboard again, get rid of that by hitting Command Delete. Now let's go ahead and apply the masks for both of these images by right clicking, apply layer mask. And on that top one, I'm just gonna drag this down a little bit by hitting V on the keyboard, like so. And then maybe pull this one to the right a little bit. I'm gonna hit M on the keyboard one more time, and that's gonna bring up that marquee tool, and then I'm gonna make sure that it's going to the right and that we're only about one pixel length in width, like that. Go ahead and hit Command J, and that's going to bring out a copy of what we just selected. And now we can hit Command T and drag this over for this pixelated effect, like so. Then hit Enter. Now we can convert this stretchy image into something a little more interesting by hitting Command T, right clicking, and going to Warp. Now you have your Warp tool selected, but we need to go up to Grid over here and go all the way to 5x5. Five now this will let us do some lining up of the pixels. So as you can see, I'm basically getting the lips and the nose and the shadows to line up correctly. And we're just gonna go ahead and distort it. If you guys have learned anything or like this video up until this point, please hit that like button now. Thanks so much. And when you have something you like, go ahead and hit enter. Now go ahead and hold down shift, select the three layers that we just made, hit command J, and that's gonna duplicate them. Now let's go ahead and turn those layers into a smart object so that we can start messing around with some filters and making this look like a photocopy. Now those layers that we had already made, let's go ahead and bring those down in case we ever have to go back to them later on. Going back up to that layer, I'm going to hit command U to desaturate this into a black and white and hit OK. One other thing we can do is hit Command M and make it a little bit more contrasty. That'll give us our curves and then just go ahead and create an S curve to make some contrast. From here, I'm gonna make a new layer and then I'm gonna basically combine all of our layers below us by hitting Shift, Option, Command E. That takes a snapshot and then I'm gonna turn that layer into a smart object. Now that combines our background with our image, 
And from here, I want to start messing around with some filters. So I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise, add a little bit of noise, let's say 4%, hit OK. Now I'm going to hit D on the keyboard, and then we're going to go up to filter, filter gallery, and now with the graphic pen, you can go ahead and mess around with the adjustments. I'm gonna keep the stroke length at one and the light and dark balance at 100. Now from here, we can add some halftone by clicking on the plus sign and then going to halftone pattern in the sketch folder. And that's gonna add a little bit more grain and distortion. So I have the size at one and the contrast at five then hit OK. Now I'm gonna do one more thing by making one more copy, and then I'm gonna turn these layers off by right-clicking on them, delete Smart Filter, and then from here, we're gonna go back to Filter Gallery, except this time, we're going to remove these filters by hitting the trash can, and then on the last one, we're gonna go up to Photocopy, and then on photocopy, I have the detail at seven and the darkness at eight. I'm gonna hit okay. Then from here, we're gonna go with a blending mode. We're gonna go all the way down to overlay. And then you can mess with the opacity if it's a little too strong. Same thing with these other bottom layers. You can mess with the opacity until you see something you like. Now what we need to do is hit shift, hold down the shift key, and we're gonna select our three layers that we've been working with. Hit command G, and then on this group, we're gonna double click it, and then on the white arrow, we're gonna hold down the Option key and drag the white arrow to the left so that it blends in with that bottom layer. And then hit OK. Then you can go back in and mess around with your layers. I'm gonna bring this one back up to 100% again, and then just go ahead and add a layer mask, and then I'm gonna hit B on the keyboard to start painting out areas that are a little too strong. Painting with black. something like that. Now, if you wanna get really gangster, go ahead and make another layer. Hit Shift, Option, Command E, right click, convert to Smart Object, and then go up to Filter, Camera Raw, and you can mess around with some of the adjustments in the Camera Raw filter. For some reason, my audio went out, but we are in Camera Raw right now, and I usually like to mess around with the texture and clarity, which I did. So go ahead and try and play around with that to bring some more detail back into the artwork. And of course, when you're happy with the results, hit OK, take a look at your artwork, and if it's good to go, it's good to go. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to you on the next video.